My name is Gloria Kafilamte and this is Red Capsule. Today, my theme for the program is check it. Check it. Check your thoughts. They become poisonous. Check what you feel towards others. They become poisonous. The things you think about other people form your opinion about the people. We judge people without walking in their shoes. If you walk in somebody's shoes, you will know what the person is feeling before you pass judgment. I was listening to an interview with Evangelis Apreku and the things he has been through. And I asked myself, did we Christians stand up to pray for him before sharing his videos? Evil news sells more these days. Christians even share the, the mistakes of their pastors, share mistakes of their Christians, counts the mistakes of their Christians more than sharing the word of God. American soldiers do not give up on their soldiers. In the battle, when they are wounded, they do not leave them. They make sure they carry them along. But Christians that need to know better, we kill our soldiers even before they die. Let one person make a mistake. The whole world will hear about it. Let a man of God say something. They take it and escalate it. And we are working for the devil to destroy the kingdom of God. Whilst the devil is gathering its agents to destroy the kingdom of God, Christians are hating on each other, judging each other, saying things about each other. When you read the book of Luke 18, 10 to 14, there were two people who went to pray in the temple. And these men, one said, I am not a tax collector. I fast, I pray, I do this. Self-righteousness have become the order of the day. Because you sin differently, does not make you a saint. You are not an adulterer, but you are a gossip. You are not a drunkard, but your thoughts are evil. You suspect everybody. Nobody does the right thing in your eyes. Nobody, you are the only perfect person on earth. You blame everybody around you, but yourself. Listen, check yourself before you talk about somebody else. Matthew chapter 7, from the verse 2. For with what judgment he judge? First one says, judge not, so that you would not be judged. Two says, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye met, it shall be measured to you again. This is the part I like from the verse 3. He said, and why beholdest thou the mote that is in your brother's eye? Not considering the beam. No, 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 no. The things you do, listen, your attitude can be repellent than somebody's adulterous life. Mm. The way you talk can be poisonous than somebody's gossip life. You have something about everybody. Sweetheart, because you sleep in a garage doesn't make you a car. You praying 24-7 does not make you more of a Christian than the one that prays one hour. It says, the effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous available man. For all you know, you are praying amiss. One person that prays one hour, that prayer is more powerful than the 24 hours you pray. Be careful the things you do. Be careful the things you say. Madras are not ones that have guns in their hands and shoot. Madras are ones that your tongue can destroy somebody. Your tongue can destroy somebody's image and integrity and dignity. Have you prayed for that person before passing judgment? Have you loved the person? In the multitude of love, sin is brought down. Have you loved the person yet? In the multitude of counsel, there is safety. Have you called the person to counsel the person? Bible says if you have a problem with a brother, call him once. Call him before elders. If after all that, it doesn't work, leave that person. Have you done that? Have you exhausted that? Before we have become judges in the house of the Lord, the pastor's message, you judge it, you criticize it. The pastor's wife's dress, you criticize it. The pastor's children, the choir, you criticize everybody but yourself. Check it. These little, little things and the things drawing us back as Christians. Let's come together, love one another, even if the person is down. You don't know the battles people go through. Walk in people's shoes. Then you understand the things they do. Talk to people. Then you know the pain in them. Hence what they do. 
check it. The little, little foxes destroy the vineyard. May the Lord bless you. I'll see you on the next broadcast. Please hit the share button. Share this video. Let it reach out to somebody. Bless somebody with this video. Like our page, Lady Reverend Gloria Kafui Lamte. And follow us on Facebook, everywhere. YouTube, subscribe to our channel. May the Lord bless you. I'll see you. Bye-bye.